Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to do something super interesting that I've never done before. I'm going to try and write in 7-8. The reason why this is a super interesting time signature to me is because I've never written in it. So I thought, you know what, let's like tackle this. 7-8 is a super interesting time signature because it's sort of split up into a group of four and three. So if we sort of listen to it, we can sort of think like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And you can do that um, in another way. So you could do one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Or you could do like one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. And you could just keep going like that and really change it up. So it's just super interesting to me. So I thought I'd um, just write a, tr a quick track in 7-8. I thought to make it easy, I might as well just use like one instrument to compose this. So I'm just using a piano today. So perfect. And basically, yeah, that's kind of cool. All right. So what I have, what I'm trying to do is build a motif. This is how I normally write music is I basically lay something down and then like edit it in Ableton makes it easier. kind of like that it kind of has like this tension built to it so yeah like the first thing in a composition is to build a motif so i've just built something in c real quick we have like this kind of like a c minor sort of feel easily um, add a chord progression under that so that's what I'm gonna do we can go nice and evil sort of like power chords or we could have a C minor maybe like a power chord I don't know Maybe for that last bar, we can have like another chord. I really like that, uh, that, that chord right there. It's like a neat little trick. So what you can do is have like, put the arpeggiator from Ableton into the track and then mess around with the arpeggiator till you find something you like and then literally just copy the uh, the MIDI information into a different track and then you have that as your track and you can mess around with all the MIDI, it's really fun. And the cool thing about arpeggiation is you can add like different notes into it. the challenge to try and transition different parts together that's that's the issue that I'm having I reckon what we need to do is just have you've got to experiment to find what you like Quite a challenge. I could do 
like a polyrhythm sort of thing? I don't know. I'm just thinking of ideas. This is sounding nice now. So we found new chords from the original chord progression, which I might actually add in at the beginning to just have that as my chord progression. And then from there, an arpeggiation from before into a new motif. And then, yeah, it's just, it's sounding good now. Basically, what I could do is use this as sort of like a motif. And then build from that, really. I don't know, I'm just sort of playing around things till some... That's when it changes, so... It's getting there, it's getting there guys. to be quite the challenge to write in 7-8, but it's working because we're making it work and it's great. So after a bit of trial and error, about two hours into the project, I was happy just leaving it from there and calling it a day. And this is what I came up with.
this challenge was super interesting because it was in a time signature that I've obviously never written them before. But uh, what I found most challenging about writing in 7-8, I guess, was chord connections and transitions were like one of the biggest things. So sort of like um, arpeggiating chords, I was trying a lot of different things over and over again and it just wasn't working with the timing so that was a big challenge uh, i think i could definitely do better with some of the sections in terms of like the transition between like this part it sounds okay there's a chord change i guess it just pops out maybe a bit too much it could be a bit smoother and also i kind of ran out of ideas for like a melody I feel like I could have done more with, instead of just arpeggiating, I could have done more with the melody there. I thought it was a an interesting challenge to sort of uh, expand on my knowledge of composition and try something completely different. And it was frustrating at times because you're trying many different things and it just wasn't working with the timing. You know, we made this piece and I'm happy, so. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you challenge yourself to write something in a compound time signature like 7-8. See if we want to do, I don't know, 6-8 or maybe 7-11, who knows. Alright guys, see you then.